Hello dear teachers and everyone else watching this channel. Welcome to my channel Learnology. Today we are going to discuss this maths lesson plan that I have created and the topic is data handling. You can use it for class 4, 5 and 6. Okay, so let's start. And uh, before starting, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please do it. It means a lot. And let's get started now. So, maths lesson plan ka jaise format hota hai, bilkul usi ke hisab se chalenge. To starting mein hume pata hai ki hume details likhni hoti hai, jaise ki teachers name, class, subject, topic, date, period, duration. Thik hai, hum yeh sab yaha pe mention kar denge. Uske baad hum likhenge apne general objectives. So, in general objectives, we write the objectives or our aims of teaching this particular subject that is maths here. Okay. So first, I have written to increase students' interest in learning mathematics. Second, to help the students to learn the concept of mathematics with ease. Third, to enable the students to solve different mathematical equations and sums in their daily life. Fourth, to increase the thinking and reasoning ability of students. Okay. So general objective includes all the things, all the aims, like why you are teaching this subject. Okay. What are your aims of teaching this subject? Next topic is our specific objectives. Here we write what are your aims of teaching this particular topic. Okay, so today our topic is data handling. So the specific objectives will be related to data handling only. Okay, first one is to help students understand the concept of data handling and its importance in organizing information. Second, to enable the students to present data in various forms such as tables, pictographs and bar graphs. Third, to enable the students to interpret data and draw conclusions from the data represented. After that, our next topic or the next heading in our lesson plan comes teaching aids. Okay, here we write all the, all the material that is required by the teacher to teach the topic. Okay, so we need chalk, duster, blackboard, flashcards, chart with examples of data, etc. Okay, you can take anything. Then we write next heading is previous knowledge assumed. So students have a basic understanding of number and counting and they know how to categorize simple items. Okay, then comes previous knowledge testing. So here we make two columns. First is teacher's activity, second is student's activity. Okay, and here we write the assumed answers of the students and the questions that we are going to ask. Okay, so first question would be how many students like apples? So students will raise their hands. Okay, that is students' activity. Next, we'll ask how many students in the class like mangoes? Okay, and teacher will ask students about their preferences and write them on the blackboard. Okay, on which fruit do they like? So students that like mangoes will raise their hands. Next, we'll ask them is it easy to understand this information also can data be collected in the same way at a large scale so they'll say no ma'am okay then we'll say how could we better organize this data so there would be no response okay because this is a problematic question and this leads to our topic okay so next heading is announcement of the topic and here we are going to announce what we are going to teach today so we'll say today we'll learn how to collect information and organize it in the chapter data handling okay now next heading comes presentation so in presentation we make four columns okay first is subject matter second teachers activities third students activities and fourth is blackboard work okay you can make one more column that is teaching method but i have not made it okay and in blackboard work also what you can do is that you can uh, take a black paper paste it over here in the blackboard work if you are doing dl or period or any other teaching course and you are making a file for that so then you can uh, take a black chart or a black piece of paper and paste it over here and write it with a white pen over it so that it will look realistic okay so first subject matter is meaning of data and data handling now what is teachers activities the teacher will explain the meaning of data and will write it on the blackboard okay students will note down the definition and on the blackboard we'll write the definition data data is a collection of information or facts okay next the teacher will also explain the definition of data handling now she'll write Data handling, it refers to the process of collecting data and presenting it in a way that is easy to understand. Okay. Next comes pictograph. So we don't write each and everything over here, okay, in our lesson plan. Not each and every line that we are going to say in the class. So next is pictograph. The teacher will explain the definition of a pictograph with examples, with example, and will ask questions based on the pictograph. Okay, students will listen carefully and answer the questions. She will say pictograph is a method of representing data in the form of simple pictures or symbols. Okay, she will explain the definition and then she will make a pictograph or draw a pictograph on the board and ask questions related to that. So this pictograph shows the fruits liked by students. Okay, so we will make fruit number of students and one smiley equals to two students. Okay. Now next is, next subject matter is tally marks. 
so the teacher will explain that tally marks group numbers in sets of five for easier counting and will show how to create a tally chart based on the data collected ठीक है तो अभी जो हमारा ऊपर वाला data था वो हम same data के ऊपर हम tally marks बनाएंगे okay so students will try to understand the concept so how do we make a tally marks we make this sort of table ठीक है next subject matter is bar graph the teacher will explain to students that bar graphs represent information using bars of different lengths and will also tell the steps to create a bar graph okay the teacher will says will tell that the steps to create a bar graph are first is draw axis x axis for categories and y axis for values okay label each axis according to the data then draw bars of corresponding heights for each category the teacher will also give some practice questions and teach them how to interpret the data okay and what will students do students will answer the questions based on bar graphs and will try to make it on their own we will draw this bar graph okay based on the data that we have just discussed okay in tally marks also and in pictograph also we use the same data for everything here then we will ask the questions how many students like grapes okay it is based on this bar graph only most of the students like which fruit which fruit is least liked by the students okay next comes pie chart the teacher will explain that pie chart uses circular charts with sections to pre to present data and will also tell the students how to interpret and answer the questions based on pie charts students will listen and observe carefully okay and we'll make this pie chart on the board children's favorite animals okay so here our teaching part is over okay but our class is not over here okay when you are teaching it actually so next we do recapitulation that is why the next heading heading is recapitulation here what do we do we ask questions okay based on the concept that we have just taught so first question is what do you mean by data and data handling second what are the steps to create a bar graph third what is a pictograph okay next comes homework part so we'll give them some homework we'll say collect data from 10 to 15 people on the topic of your choice for example favorite season favorite ice cream flavor etc and create a tally chart and a bar graph using the same data in your notebook okay this is how we make a lesson plan on this data handling topic okay i hope you all have liked it if you have liked it please give it a thumbs up and also write in the comment box how do you feel it was and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel also press the bell icon for more updates thank you for watching